Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Houston. All right, guys, if you're looking for a Valentine's Day gift, you know the song, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. But coming in close at second is chocolate. But like anything else, quality matters. Here to show us what's in her chocolate and how to make it a mouthwatering gift for Valentine's Day, please welcome Chef Leanne Akers with Very Cal About Chocolate. Hello there. Hi. All right, let's first talk about the chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's a big word. It can mean a whole lot of things. That's for right. example, when um, someone calls their vet and says, oh, no, my dog just swallowed some chocolate. The vet usually says, hold on, what kind was it? You're okay on certain things. That's, That's right. because? That's because quality in a good chocolate should never have more than about five ingredients in it. Yeah. And if you look at the back of it and you see words that you can't pronounce, you should probably put it back. Yeah, because and it's, a lot of it doesn't have the amount of chocolate. It may have a hint of chocolate, exactly. right? Exactly. But real chocolate's got real chocolate and you real have um, a dose in there. So real chocolate means that there's real chocolate cocoa mass and real cocoa butter. Mm. That's the ingredient. Cocoa butter. Yeah. All right, tell us where it comes from because it's, it's not in a package, right? Right. In Mother Nature. Exactly. Um, it grows about 10 degrees north or south of the equator. That's it. So you've got Africa, you've got Ecuador, Brazil, and those kinds of countries that are super hot and yeah. super humid. All right, we have this right here. Tell mm -hmm. us what this is. So this is a freeze-dried cocoa pod. This is the pod that grows off of the trees, and they're usually beautiful magenta and yellow and orange. Uh -huh. It's kind of like a pumpkin. They slice it open, and they dig out the beans, and then they take the beans and ferment them in the sun. Yeah, all and right. And then that's how we get the dark chocolate that we're used to seeing. Yeah, and dark chocolate in many um, cultures is actually medicinal. Absolutely. Um, there's flavanol content. That's where we get our antioxidants. So a little snack here and there of a nice dark chocolate actually has some health benefits to it. Yeah, all right. So you have some things here you want to show us mm -hmm. that we can uh, put together, and these can make great Valentine's Day gifts, whatever. Absolutely. Just like a nice little dessert for yourself. And the great thing about they're small, because that's all really you need, right? Well, that's all you need. Yeah, okay. They're small but filling. So I tell know us we what make you have. them big in Texas, but yeah. just a little goes a long way. All right, tell us what you have first. So this is a super easy chocolate truffle. Two mm -hmm. ingredients, that's all you need. The thing I start with is two cups of dark chocolate. I kind of run mm -hmm. a knife through mine so that it'll melt a little easier. Yeah, and you got that dark chocolate mm -hmm. chips right there. Dark I'm gonna taste that if you don't mind. Yes, there please. Mmm, yeah, the intensity of that. And by the way, this is what determines the cost or the price point of yes. your chocolate. If you're looking at something going, well, that's a little bit more expensive than that, that's probably because it's finer ingredients. That's how you know it's a good chocolate. Mm -hmm. if, you're okay. paying, if you're paying good money for a chocolate, then it's got the real cocoa butter, real cocoa mass in yes. it. Yes, so basically the Halloween candy bag you buy is probably yeah. not the one that has that. Yeah, you want to, yeah. yeah. So I've got two cups of dark chocolate, and on your stove, you just have a little sauce pot and you add one cup of heavy cream. Yeah, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. uh, you bring it to a slow boil, just as it starts frothing or foaming up, then you're good to go. Yeah, but watch it, because milk can burn yes, quickly, Yes, it right? goes really fast. It goes from zero to 100 in no time. So once it starts bubbling over, you just take it, you add it to this bowl of two cups of chocolate, and you kind of let it just sit there for about 30 seconds. You don't do anything. Take a couple sips of wine. It's hard to do that. And then the next thing you do is you just start mixing it in. And you're going to say to yourself, Chef Leanne, this looks awful. But just give it a minute. <laughs> no, Chef Leanne, anything with chocolate does not look awful, right? It so just, it's, it's scary at first. Yeah. It's scary when it looks like this. But as the chocolate starts melting, it's going to turn into this beautiful, yeah. shiny, pudding like texture and try not to eat it. Can I tell you what I'm thinking right now? It looks like chocolate with frosted like <laughs> sugar on top. I mean of this it. is good. Just give me a spoon and this like yeah. my cereal. Milk and chocolate. So All after right. at least two hours, uh, it's really best to do this overnight. It will set and firm. Now is that in the refrigerator or nope. just leave it out? Okay. Room temperature. A little key uh, piece of information. Chocolate and refrigeration is not really a good combination. Mm. Just you don't have to keep it in the refrigerator. The pantry is fine. Okay. So I'm going to put some gloves on because chocolate's very messy. Yeah. And one of the things you do, by the way, you provide chocolate, you're a chocolate supplier for so many pastry chefs, bakeries, hotels, chocolatiers, and the whole bit. Yes. We're a chocolate manufacturer, and 
I'd say probably nine out of 10 restaurants, bakeries, and chocolate shops here in Houston mm -hmm. are using one of our high-end European chocolates. Okay. So you can feel good about where you go and eat yeah. here in Houston. We're so lucky. And the warmth of your hand, of course, helps yeah, to shape the, it, right? The, warp, the warmth of your hand, just it's kind of like Play-Doh. You just kind of roll it into a ball and... And then what you do is that it's tacky enough that it can it can yep. you know, pick up like the cocoa powders, uh, the nuts, the, the powdered sugar that you have yes. here, and you have like a perfectly great looking chocolate gift and you can present it in a pretty box and a whole thing. Great box. And a jewelry box, you know, have fun with it. Uh, they all look the same. They look professional and you look like a total chocolate hero. Yeah, you are a chocolatier. All right, you can explain. And the good thing yeah. with this is that you can just give somebody four. It's plenty. Yes, all right? four is take plenty. take a bite right here. Yes. Um, so have fun with the toppings. Mm -hmm. I mean, toasted coconut, mm -hmm. dried fruits. I mean, the sky's the limit. I would stay away from sugary, like, yeah. glitter or anything well, like that. Well, it's already sweet enough, yeah, too. Yeah, sweet enough. Plenty sweet, right? Mm -hmm. So I went over to Whole Foods yesterday, and I picked up a couple of the chocolates, mm -hmm. uh, the Calibo chocolates that they carry at Whole Foods. So it's it's an easy, you know, stop at... The chocolate that we make is not your grandma's baking chocolate that's bitter and flavorless. Yeah, it's no, good, it's really good right out of the box. Sweet enough. Leanna, thank you very much. You're very welcome. To learn more about Chef Acres chocolate, visit greatdayhouston.com.